one has ever become poor by giving. Because paper has more patience than people. The young are not afraid of telling the truth. Whoever is happy will make others happy. The weak fall, but the strong will remain and never go under. I know I'm far from being what I should, will I ever be? In spite of everything, I still believe people are really good at heart. All I think about when I'm with friends is having a good time. Look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. An empty day, though clear and bright, is just as dark as any night. Those who have courage and faith shall never perish in misery. In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. Think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. Ordinary people don't know how much books can mean to someone who's cooped up. I can't bring myself to talk about anything but ordinary everyday things. I found that it was easier to think up questions than to ask them. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. People can tell you to keep your mouth shut but that doesn't stop you from having your own opinion. Where there's hope, there's life, it fills us with fresh courage and makes us strong again. I can shake off everything as I write my sorrows disappear, my courage is reborn. At such moments, I don't think about all the misery, but about the beauty that still remains. Sympathy, love, fortune, we all have these qualities but still tend to not use them. Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because regret is stronger than gratitude. We all live with the objective of being happy, our lives are all different and yet the same. What's the point of the war? Why, oh why can't people live together peacefully? Why all this destruction? People who are religious should be glad since not everyone is blessed with the ability to believe in a higher order. I must uphold my ideals, for perhaps the time will come when I shall be able to carry them out. Whoever doesn't know it must learn and find by experience that a quiet conscience makes one strong. A person can be lonely even if he is loved by many people, because he is still not the one and only to anyone. The nicest part is being able to write down all my thoughts and feelings, otherwise, I might suffocate. Ditches can all be lost, but that happiness in your own heart can only be veiled, and it will bring you happiness again, as long as you live. 
As long as you can look fearlessly at the sky, you'll know that you're pure within and will find happiness once more. I see the world being slowly transformed into a wilderness, I hear the approaching thunder that, one day, will destroy us too. I've found that there is always some beauty left in nature, sunshine, freedom, in yourself, this can all help you. Parents can only give good advice or put them on the right paths, but the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be, how much you can love, what you can accomplish, and what your potential is. I can't imagine how anyone can say, I am weak, and then remain so, after all, if you know it, why not fight against it, why not try to train your character? The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely or unhappy is to go outside somewhere where they can be quite alone with the heavens, nature and God. There's only one rule you need to remember, laugh at everything and forget everybody else, it sound egotistical, but it's actually the only cure for those suffering from self-pity. I don't want to have lived in vain like most people, I want to be useful or bring enjoyment to all people, even those I've never met, I want to go on living even after my death. I think it's odd that grown-up quarrels so easily and so often and about such petty matters up to now I always thought bickering was just something children did and that they outgrew it. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness people are just people, and all people have faults and shortcoming, but all of us are born with a basic goodness. It's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all my ideals, because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out, yet I keep them, because in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I feel the suffering of millions, and yet, when I look up at the sky, I somehow feel that everything will change for the better that this cruelty too shall end, that peace and tranquility will return once more.